So, about two, three months ago, it's been a minute, so I made one of these, but I uploaded a video called, um, I guess this is goodbye for now, and whole reason I made that video at the time was because I, at the time I found I had plateaued in a lot of, in every realm imaginable. The spiritual realm, the physical, the financial. I, I was stuck. And right around then I'd quit boxing. I, not quit, but to some degree I just didn't want to go back for, because of injuries. I was just sick of boxing. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And shortly thereafter, a lot of shit has transpired since then. These past two months have felt like they've been years. And pretty much about two months ago, a buddy of mine gave me a call very soon after I made that video, I remember. And he told me about this cool sales gig he was doing and I decided to jump on board. And me being me, I've always loved risk. I decided to quit my stable Whole Fags job or Whole Foods and go all in on this 100% commission based gig. But at the time, I didn't know I'd end up in fucking Florida, but what led me down here is pretty interesting. I only make these videos after I made some kind of observation. I don't like making pointless videos, I don't know, or just like recording myself doing some gay ass dance or some shit like that. And it's not like I'm some grand wizard where I have all the wisdom or elixir of life or some dumb shit like that. But <clears throat> I only make videos when I feel like I have something to say, whether that's in regards to nutrition, fitness, or whatever it may be. And an observation I made over the last few months is the importance, honestly, just of a, an iron fucking core. Holding yourself to a standard is very fucking important. So when I, the way I moved down here in the first place, I fucking drove down to Florida for the job and I was supposed to only be here for a week and fly out to California for a week. But what happened instead was I stayed in California for a bit longer than anticipated. And pretty much when I got back to Florida, I had zip to my name. The, I had a car, my life packed into a 40 pound luggage or suitcase, whatever. And that's pretty much it. Some boxing gear, and that's all I had to my name. I couldn't go back because I had zero money. I couldn't drive back. I couldn't fly back. So I was kind of stuck here. And I just, I couch surfed. I did all types of shit. I slept in my car, all that shit. And What's interesting is a lot of people might think that's fucking depressing, you know, not having any resources or anything like that, but these past few months have been life affirming. That's the best way I could put it. I've not been depressed or down a single fucking second. Because I don't have the time to be down or depressed. Because when you're on the war path and you're... You are fucking using every last bit of energy, all the resources you have to stay alive and find a place to stay and get a, get a meal in your stomach. Depression doesn't really matter at that point. And one thing I found is you, you can't let these fucking negative thoughts 
penetrate the armor, the Riza, you have around your mind. If those negative thoughts permeate and you let them bite at you and chew through you, you're fucked. Because There is zero downside to being hopeful. There is zero downside for developing strength beyond strength and becoming driven and obsessed with something. And there is all the downside in the world to being a negative loser, falling prey to your bullshit thoughts and insecurities. There's all the downfall in the world. It's all downhill from there. You take your eyes off the fucking prize and it's done. The importance of having an impenetrable armor around your mind that allows you to go through the world and regardless of outcome, being at peace, that's very fucking important. Not letting yourself fall, fall prey to those negative thoughts. And I'm only two months in. I honestly feel like this is a rite of passage. It makes you or breaks you. And... A skill that has to be developed is not letting those negative thoughts affect you. Not letting the thought of, I don't know where I'm going to go get my next meal from, not letting it affect you. Door dashing every night just to get a fucking, just to get some cheap ass ground beef and eat it. Not letting that affect you and be like, and oh, woe is me. If you let those negative thoughts permeate and bite through you, you are absolutely fucked. I know for me, I knew from day one, something changed in me a few years ago and I realized that I was not gonna live a straight and narrow path life. And that was a scary realization because I realized the extent it takes for me to actually feel alive means I have to be on the edge at all times. And I'm 100% comfortable with that. I've never liked the idea of stability. I've never liked the idea of hunkering down and staying where you are, it's always to some point, to some degree, disgusted me. So I honestly feel like the alignment of my soul and the alignment of my circumstances, they both coincide. Serendipitous. The way it happened. Like I said, I feel like this is a rite of passage. I wasn't planning on making any kind of video soon, but I did feel compelled to make this. I don't know why I'm making it. But now I have some experience with this idea. There is zero downside. Zero. to walking in the world, doing what you need to do, and believing what you want is going to happen. Zero. And I've experienced this firsthand. Done.